to really show him or what you have? Yeah, re not really excited. It's always good to be called up to the seniors. Yeah, I've had a, a couple now, so yeah, it's really good coming in with these boys. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to training and trying to trying to impress. Yeah, you've sort of obviously played with the senior team already, and you've been around with the 21s. When you were with the 21s over the last few camps, did you have many conversations with the senior coaching team? Uh, no, not really. To be honest, I think it was it was probably the right thing to kind of keep that separate to have all my focus on the 21s because we were obviously trying to qualify and unfortunately we couldn't get it done but yeah I think it was better to kind of stay focused on that and not kind of worry too much about anything else going on. What's your best role? Um, I like to say I'm like a creative midfielder so I don't really mind where where I play. Uh, I think wherever I play I can kind of hopefully bring my strengths and, and sh like help the team by doing the things that I'm good at. So. I don't really mind, to be honest, I've been playing a bit deeper for Stoke recently uh, and I've quite enjoyed it, so yeah, uh, anywhere in midfield, a wide even sometimes, I'm, not, I'm quite easy. Do you feel there's maybe an opportunity in that advanced midfield role because I think they've played three or four different players there over the last three or four games, nobody's really settled in that role yet? Yeah, I, th I think we've got some we've got some brilliant players in, in all areas, so yeah, I think, uh, yeah, hopefully show my strengths and yeah if the if the gaffer thinks I'm I'm right to play then yeah hopefully I can get in. And where are you with Brighton at the moment? Have you have any conversations with the new manager over the summer in terms of what, what your long term future there is? Yeah yeah I spoke to him before I went out on loan. Uh we were kinda just making sure that, that was the right thing to do to go out on loan for the season. Uh just kinda said to focus on getting as many games as I can, getting as as much experience as I can. Uh uh, yeah, and just like giving me little bits that I can work on that he wants me to improve on. And, yeah, no, re really positive. Yeah, really enjoyed preseason back there. Yeah. What sort of things did he talk about improving on? Uh, kind of all sorts, like in, in possession stuff, just the usual, just trying to be as consistent as I can. I think that was one thing I, I could have got better at from last season. I think I had some really good games and then some not so good games. So just kind of finding that level, level ground where I'm consistent week in, week out. and. Yeah, just defensive stuff like winning duels, uh, just being really focused on my defensive game as well. Yeah, it's, it's all really important. Andrew, uh, congratulations on your call at Percival. Thank um, you. How have you improved at the Stoke and the um, Yeah, I think I've been playing a bit different sort of game recently because I've been playing a bit deeper. Uh, the manager's been really good with me. Uh, I've loved playing for him so far. Uh, he's really helped me with all my defensive stuff that probably doesn't come as naturally to me. Uh, I think I'm getting quite better off the ball, I'd like to say. So, yeah, just stuff like that. Just constantly playing with uh, players that have played in the Championship loads in their career. Like, I'm learning loads. So, yeah, it's been really good. The squad has a huge number of options at number six or like that double pivot in midfield. Do you think you could play that position, obviously, and play deeper? Yeah, like I said, I don't really mind where I'm playing. Like I, I feel quite comfortable now where I've played. I've played a bit deeper for Stoke, so I feel like I, I can do it. Yeah, and yeah, obviously in the higher roles, I'm a little bit more natural. Come a little bit more natural to me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine to play anywhere. To be honest, wherever the, the team needs me, I'm happy to play. Andy, I know it's kind of obvious, but the fact that uh, when you're doing the stuff that doesn't come as natural, so you, are you thinking, okay, this is really good for my development? Like, you thinking I don't, I don't want to do this? Uh, like, what's your kind of mindset? Are you, are you open to the idea of having you become a better all-round player by doing it? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I can, I can see how much I'm, I'm improving on it, and it's just, it's not even that I don't enjoy doing it. It's just, it doesn't. Prob I'm not as used to it. Uh, I've not been exposed to it as much. So, no, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm learning loads. Uh, and I feel like I'm, I'm playing all right recently. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it to be honest. And is that when you spoke to the manager going out, like apart from the obvious of getting game time, was that something he kind of mentioned? That's something he you would like to see develop in you, or? Uh, yeah, just the main thing was really just getting experience and just like like you say, playing games, playing as much as I can, so I can have learnt loads and bring bring that back to Brighton. Really, yeah, that, that was the main sort of focus. And obviously, Tom came back into the squad as well as yourself. How have you? Enjoyed playing with him and what can he bring to the squad? Yeah, he's brilliant, Tom. He's got really good movement, which is great for players like me trying to play the passes to him. So, yeah, he's a brilliant player. I'm really happy for him to be in the squad as well. Going with who, who did you model yourself with? Who did you retain? Who did you want to be? I had, lo had loads of players growing up that I loved watching. Uh, I was an Arsenal fan growing up, so I loved watching Fabregas. He was one that you could like really see a pass and uh, yeah I really I really liked watching him play. Uh, 
yeah, I, I didn't. I wouldn't say I really modelled myself off someone and said like I need to play exactly like that. But loads of players like David Silva is another one I loved watching growing up. So yeah, kind of play like creative midfielders that like can see a pass. That's kind of they're my favourite players to watch to be honest. Yeah, obviously growing up watching watching the Ireland teams, he was unbelievable to watch. He was so good, especially like around that Euro was twenty sixteen time. So uh, yeah, he was a brilliant player. So if I can even be half as good as he was, I'll be I'll be doing well. And again, just talk about the early days. Um, yeah, I, th I think a little bit when you're younger, yeah, I think obviously the more I've grown up, like I've kind of evened out a little bit, like obviously I'm not the tallest fella on the team or on the pitch. Uh, but I, I can hold my own, like I'm not really small anymore. Um, so yeah, obviously growing up I had to deal with it a little bit, but I think it helped me in the long run, like like I kind of said in that uh, video you're talking about, yeah, just like y you learn ways to use your body well and stuff like that, that I think I've, I've taken into my game now, yeah. The last one for me, sorry, Terry, we don't talk about Evan playing for first team at 14 for balls, but the fact that you play really hard as well, did that make you more ready? Yeah, I think definitely. I think that helped me loads going over. Um, I think because I went over at 18s and you're, you're playing with lads that have been really good in academy football and I think just having that kind of edge over them by kind of knowing the game a bit better when you've played men's football, I think it's massive. I think it's the, it's the, it's the only real way of like learning how to play football the right way is playing with senior pros, learning off them. So, yeah, I think it helped me massively and I'm sure it helped Dev as well, yeah. Are, are any lads you played with Brian involved in the playoff this afternoon? Uh, I'm sure they are, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm sure they are. You're not still close to any of them in particular, are you? Uh, see, I, it got cut short to COVID, sure. so I only played one or two games, but uh, I'll be keeping an eye on the results anyway, yeah, I hope they go up. And you do, Charlie, uh, just a bit John Walters. Uh, he's a stoke, just his influence, as he said, actually, about what he, how bright he told Ireland. And, uh, what have you learned off him? Yeah, loads. He was, uh, he was one of my coaches with the Ireland 19s, so that's kind of where I knew him from. Uh, and he was, he was a big part of me going to Stoke in the summer. He, uh, he really pushed for me to, for them to, to sign me, which I'm really grateful for. So, yeah, he's been great. He's been, uh, yeah, like in and around the club. He's, he's brilliant. He's given me little pointers. Uh, yeah, he's been brilliant. Just um, it's a very background. I know you're still looking, are you? Yeah, knock line. You're knock line. Okay. And what's your school about, though? Uh, knock line. Knock line and then Joey's, yeah. yeah Joey's. Yeah. Did you come across Devon Mulder here? Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, that was a bit after. I had just left. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah. Just one other thing. The 21s, um, it's been a little zoom the other day for the last couple of matches. You went so close there in the 21s, it must have been a hard fight here at all finished. You have a really good campaign where you could have along the line. But do you, do you feel that you benefit from that? And um, do you feel you can make an impact now and see that? Yeah, obviously, like you said, it was real tough. Uh, the Italy game, we were all gutted after. Like, um, yeah, so I think it's just it kind of look back on it now with a bit of pride just to see how well, how well we did actually do, like the way we competed against some big teams. We did really well when you look back at it, but just a few results cost us in the end. Uh, but yeah, looking forward now uh, and hopefully trying to impact on the senior team now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hope so, yeah. Uh, listen, I'll just do my best every day in training and in the games if I get a chance and Try and impress, yeah, hopefully. You mentioned about playing in a slightly deeper role. Was that something that the manager here has kind of said that was part of the reason why he brought you in? Um, not, not particularly, no. Um, I think it's, it's always good, though, if you can if you can show you can play a few different positions, especially in international squads, it's good. I'm sure it helps managers picking squads that they know they can kind of trust the player in multiple positions. So, yeah, and not really particularly, no. Um,
but I'm sure it's probably a factor. And, and how do you adjust in terms of trying to understand maybe different facets of that game? Would you be then watching more videos of other players or stuff like that? How do you actually yeah, play? I think to be fair, at, at Stoke it's been brilliant. The, the gaffer's given me lots of like, he, he kind of knows it's not like I haven't grown up playing as deep as I am, so he's been helping me loads. Like, he, he gives us, he's great because he gives us like a we all know exactly our job when we go out to play, so you don't really have to think too much. You know where you're supposed to be and where you're where you're meant to be in pressing and in build up and everything. So, now nah, it's been it's been quite it's been quite easy in terms of the manager helping me loads. Yeah, he's he's kind of coached me through it really well. Andrew, if, um, just ask you this about in terms of um, experience at Brighton and experience at the long clubs. Like obviously. If to be associated with the Premier League club and training week in, week out, a day in, day out with the, with the first team. Even the sort of reserves get that sort of experience and it brings on the game to a certain level. Yeah. Did you feel that obviously you wanted to just play games? Was, was that the way you saw your, your career develop better? Or was that, or was it even a, a conversation? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a kind of collective decision, really, because. Um, it was kind of like go back to pre-season this year and, and try and impress and I think I done alright in pre-season uh, and we just sat down with kind of the gaffer and David Weir there at Brighton um, and all the loan staff and we just decided it was the best thing like I I need to get game time at this age I need to be playing games so yeah I think it was the right decision to, to head out on loan and luckily I'm, I'm, I'm playing regularly for Stoke now yeah. It does also feed into it. it shows that you're an ambitious player um, and you're willing to go to Stoke, you're willing to look back for these sort of places. Do you look at players like maybe like Troy, Troy Parrott and see what he's doing uh, with his career and um, Jacob Bryan as well, took a different sort of role? Is that something you might look into um, over a couple of seasons or have you thought of it? Yeah, to be fair, I've never really thought about it, but yeah, it's like Troy's doing brilliant in, in Holland and Jake done unreal in, in France as well, yeah. I think there's a lot of Irish players going. Uh, overseas now more than what they used to be so yeah definitely it's, a, it's an option but uh, to be fair I'm just focused on, on Stoke right now and, and focused on Ireland yeah so, that's good. cheers thank you you played with Sammy Smollett last year yeah yeah, yeah. 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 just uh, tell me a lot of assists there last year Blackburn did you see that in the game him up for a few yeah he was my uh, he was getting me a couple yeah I have, to, I have him to thank for a few of them yeah He's still trying to get the first Irish goal, but maybe you might team up one as well. Yeah. Hopefully, I'd be I'd be glad to if I, if I could. Yeah. But just a word on him, his, his progress, his, his goals were turned last year was phenomenal. Yeah. And he's kicked on this year in the Premier League. That's any surprise to you? No, no. You could you could see when training with him last year and playing with him last year, the quality he has, like he's his movements, unbelievable. Uh, he was he was a dream to play with, to be honest. He'd always be on the shoulder, ready to run in behind. So brilliant for players like me to play with. Um, but yeah, no, he was class last season. He he was a big reason why we stayed in the league. He was he scored so many important goals for us. Uh, yeah, brilliant player to play he with. Said, he said earlier it was, you can be a bit of a nuisance when you're around him all the time. <laughs> no, he's great to have around. He's funny. He's very funny. He's lively. Uh, but yeah, no, he's a great guy and great player. Andrew, sorry, I just saw a uh, tweet from the um, Andrew Yaden references, so this might be wrong, but did Danny Duff try to sign you for Shedders? <laughs> Not for shells, for uh, Shamrock Rovers oh, under 15s, yeah. He's years ago, you know, yeah. 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 Um, no, it was, uh, he came He came to meet with my me and my family. I must have been, I don't know, he was under 15, so I must have been 14, 15 maybe. And yeah, just having like Damien Duff sat across from me in my living room was, uh, yeah, I was a bit starstruck to be fair, but uh, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was a cool, cool story to be able to tell, yeah. Yeah, was it tough saying no? Uh, it was a bit, to be fair, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was. I was really young, to be fair, at the time, and yeah. Joe's and Bray had done loads for me, so I, I didn't really, I didn't feel like it was the right time to leave at that point. But yeah, it was. Uh, it was interesting. Yeah. It must be good for your confidence, like. But you, I mean, if Damien Duff is sitting in your kitchen when you're fourteen, <laughs> you must know you're pretty good. Huh? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you could look at it that way. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It was. It was a bit. It was all a bit mad, to be honest. I was a bit. I was a bit young to be taking it all in. I, I didn't know what to. I didn't know what to do, what to say, or anything. Yeah, it was. It was good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Cheers, that's time.